Hi, I'm Carl Taylor. Welcome to this week's photo breakdown. We're going to take a look at this image, which looks like it was shot outside at a Mediterranean location. This was an advert that I shot for red or dead uh, sunglasses. And this was actually shot in my studio. I'm going to show you how. Right, so let's take a look at uh, a little bit more detail on what was achieved here. So we have an image that is designed to simulate or emulate the look of sunlight because we're dealing with sunglasses here for this uh, poster campaign. We have two beautiful models in the shot and they wanted a Mediterranean feel to the shot. So we looked at the type of buildings in the Mediterranean and a lot of them have this sort of textured uh, surface to the wall. So that was important. And then we wanted the effect of hard, bright sunlight. And of course, a hard, bright sunlight on a clear day is going to give us sharp, well-defined shadows because it's essentially a point light source. So we needed to create that in the shot, as you can see there. And then additional to that, because we were just working in a studio environment, we wanted to in introduce a sort of feeling or element of Mediterranean um, environment in there. So we utilized what looked like a palm tree shadow on the wall as part of the shot. So how was it all done? Well, to be honest, um, it was quite simple. This technique is actually fairly straightforward and I'm going to run through that with you on a lighting diagram. But first, we're just going to take a look at this. This was one of the test shots and you can see here is the textured wall. So basically we just had an MDF or uh, plywood wall that we constructed in the studio. And this was when we were testing the palm leaf effect. And right away, the giveaway here, as you can see our palm leaf in the corner there, it's actually just cut out from a piece of paper. So essentially, um, we had some pieces of paper, cut them out with scissors in the shape of a palm leaf to about this sort of size and scale. And then those were held in front of the light source. But I'll come back to that. But there you go, that is evidence that that is not a real palm tree, of course. It's just a small scale paper version of a palm leaf. And I think we actually stuck them onto uh, a coat hanger wire uh, to create the stem, if you like, of the leaf. Now the wall part to create the textured surface in the wall was just standard emulsion wall paint, but we just got loads of grit and gravel and stuff and threw it in the paint and mixed it up and then painted it onto the wall with big brushes. And then that textured surface ended up in the wall and that worked perfectly. And if we go back to the final shot, you can see there the combination of the textured wall with the models and with the uh, palm leaf shadow. Let's take a look at the lighting setup and how that was created. So if we start, here is our textured wall. It's actually at an angle to the camera because the models are at slightly uh, an angle to camera. Along this side, I had a run of polyboards. Polyboards are just large, white, uh, black one side, white the other, uh, large eight foot by four foot boards that studios often use as reflector panels or negative fills or flags. And when we want to create a large surface of reflected light, we just put a run of poly boards down one side. Um, v flats also make the equivalent these days of uh, poly boards as well, um, which uh, I think fold up and are a little bit more compact. So my run of poly boards down the left hand side, we have the female model here on camera left and then the male model on camera right. And you can see that both of them, as you can see in the photograph, are positioned leaning against the wall. And that was quite important for the shot because um, to create the hard, sharp shadow, the subject or the object needs to be close to the surface that the shadow is being cast upon. The further away the subject is from the uh, surface that the shadow is being cast on, then the less sharp the shadow will be, even with a, uh, you know, a small point light source. Um, if you had an 
sort of infinitely small point light source, which of course is impossible, then that wouldn't be the case. But because of the viewing position from the shadow, uh, perspective of the base surface where the shadow is on, and how much of the light source it can actually see, the shadow softens a little bit if the shadow is further away. So in this instance, we put the models close to the wall to create the sharp shadow. By the way, if you want to know more about the sort of physical properties of light and those sort of physics and understanding uh, the technicalities of light and, and, and knowing how to use light and describe emotion with light, that is all covered on carltaylereducation.com. Now the next part, as you can see, is the camera. We need the camera in there to take the picture and then the light itself. Over here, there is the light. And the light couldn't be any simpler. This is just a standard studio lamp head with no modifiers whatsoever put on it. So it's essentially what we call bare bulb. That is just using the bare flash tube from that light with no reflector, no modifier. And that is a great way to simulate sunlight because what it does in your studio environment is a small, it's a small light source, so it will create hard, sharp shadows just like the sun. But additionally, because the light emanates out of the flash tube in a multiple of directions, it bounces around your studio and acts as a general fill. That's assuming you've got a white ceiling and white walled studio. And that general fill off of that uh, walls of your studio, ceiling of your studio, then acts like the sort of general fill that you would get from the sky in combination with the sun. As a matter of fact, another technique that we regularly apply, and you'll see again in the uh, technical sections on lighting on carltadereducation.com, is where we actually apply a bit of coloured gel to the bounce light around the studio so that we can actually introduce a little bit of blue into the shadows to even simulate real sunlight further. That wasn't necessary, of course, for this shot because this shot is in black and white. So we only needed the one light source. And then further to that, the final trick was the palm leaves cut out and placed in front of the light source. And because the palm leaves are not close to the wall, you can see their shadow on the wall is slightly softer, so they just take that slightly uh, diffused look to the shadow, and that gives the impression, uh, mentally it gives us the impression, that the palm tree is further away, of course, which is what we want it to be, because as you can imagine, we're trying to simulate the hard sunlight, the models with the sharp shadows against the wall, but the palm tree would be maybe a little bit of distance and higher up away from them. So really a very, very simple lighting setup to get to that final result. One single bare bulb light with the additional light bouncing around the studio, creating the fill so that the shadows don't go completely dark black. You can control that with another bounce light around the studio, as I mentioned, you can even color gel that. And I say we cover that on carltadereducation.com. Poly boards down the left side and use of the textured wall. So I hope you found that information useful and interesting. If you'd like to learn more techniques like that through hundreds of other classes and live shows, head over to carltaylereducation.com. Thanks for watching.